Many municipalities in the city and the suburbs are dealing with the same problem right now, a growing deer population. Yeah, while deer can be friendly, they certainly can also be destructive. Our Royce Jones went out to one South Hills neighborhood where leaders are starting to take action. But for some, it's actually stirring up some controversy, right, Royce? Yeah, Ken Kim, according to data from a contracted firm, Whitehall Borough has some of the highest incidents of deer contact in the entire South Hills area. Leaders there tell me that what started as a public nuisance has now become an issue of public safety. A new calling program is set to take effect this weekend, but some who have befriended the deer are doing everything they can to stop it. America has one solution. If you don't like it, kill it. 85-year-old Pat Knezovich, a decades-long animal advocate, has been a resident of Whitehall Borough for more than 50 years, making friends with many neighbors along the way, including the wild ones. Been a gift of nature to me. I've enjoyed every one of their visits. But not everyone has. In fact, according to borough officials, the deer have become overpopulated, causing property and environmental damage. Between 2017 and 2020, the borough reports vehicle accidents involving deer increased 175 percent, wildlife complaints 90 percent, and injured or dead deer needing removed from roadways and yards 49 percent. Mayor James Nowak also receiving complaints from residents that the deer have become aggressive towards pets and humans. We're not going to wait until we have some disaster in Whitehall before uh, we, uh, you know, we take some action. The borough now launching a deer management program to control it, but Knezovich and others in the area are fighting it. And we have people willing to go and sit there and keep the deer away. That's our only hope. The $10,000 plan includes a public education campaign about how to coexist with deer, but also an archery program in conjunction with the State Game Commission's deer hunting season, where certified archers who must pass a criminal background check and proficiency programs are contracted through Suburban Wildlife Management Associates to call the deer. Dying by an arrow is long drawn out and very painful unless you're a really good shot. Well, I think one of the reasons why we give the proficiency test is we don't want any deer to die a slow, painful death. We want it to be uh, swift. Knezovich and other concerned neighbors have been selling these signs to spread awareness. She hopes to gain enough support to convince the borough to consider other methods such as contraceptives. But leaders tell me this is the least effective and economic option. Now, the Whitehall police chief tells me that archers will be focusing on large wooded tracts of land in the borough. Residents were able to opt into the program to allow archers on their property. Borough officials tell me that these properties of those who signed up uh, were assessed to determine whether or not it was safe. Those who were selected can opt out, opt out at any time. And a reminder, feeding deer in Whitehall is totally illegal and you can be fine if you're caught doing that. Ken.